Good morning. My name is Bob Lowry, and I'm here with Greg Garrett this morning. We are from the Pool Chemistry Training Institute. I'm going to show you today how to raise pH of your pool water with only air. This is a simple demonstration, and uh, it uses chemicals that you are already using. I have here, I said, just some tap water. I'm going to take some pH indicator, which you know is phenol red, and I'm going to put a little bit in here so we can see what the pH of this water is. And as you can see, it's uh, starting to turn a little bit pink, but the, we need a little more reagent in there. We'll put enough in there so that it simulates like it does with your uh, test kit. So now we have a pH of somewhere around 7.8 or maybe even 8.0. Um, this would be too high in the pool, so we would like to lower it. Lowering it is, an, is adding acid. We have here some dry acid, sodium bisulfate. Because this is strong concentrated acid, I'm gonna take a small amount of this and put it into this small beaker of water over here. And we're gonna stir it up and uh, make an acid solution, a dilute acid solution. And then we're going to add it to our sample so that we can lower the pH of our sample, just like you would in a pool. You'll add some acid and it will lower the pH. So we'll take some acid in this, because it's probably still pretty strong, so this is a, a little transfer pipette, and we're gonna put it in here a few drops at a time and see if we can get the pH to go down. We don't want to overdo it. If you put too much acid in your pool or we put too much in here, we end up using up all of the alkalinity in the pool and then there's no CO2 left. Almost CO2. So we, we went with a very dilute acidic solution because we didn't want to just slam it. Because if you, if you drop the pH too far, then what will happen is carbon dioxide will cease to exist as a species in the water. And you can see there we're about 7, two, about seven oh. It's about 7 oh, I think. Maybe one or two more and we'll have a 6, 8, we hope. All right, so one more I think ought to do it. I ought to get us down to, okay, so if you had this in your pool, you would see that you got a pH of about 6, 8 or 7, 0. Oh, and that would not be a good thing. So you want to try one more, you think? Yes. All right, we'll see if we can get one more in here. So here we would have pretty much a pH that's too low in the pool. All right, so here we have 6, 8 or 7, 0 on the pH scale. And all we're gonna do is add some air. This is an aquarium air blower. And uh, we're gonna add some aeration and turbulence. And the aeration and turbulence is going to drive CO2 out of the water, which gets replaced by the carbonic acid, which gets replaced by the uh, carbonate and then by the uh, bicarbonate that's in the pool. And in the process, it uses a hydrogen ion. Once the hydrogen ion is gone, the pH goes up. So it's a, an equilibrium process and we're off gassing CO2 right here. And that's what's going to raise the pH of our sample. Um, so we've already raised the pH from kind of a yellow color to a slightly orange color, which means that we've already gotten the pH from maybe 6, 8 or 7, 0, oh, maybe to up to 7, 2 or maybe towards 7, 3 already. So, uh, 7.4 we usually think of as a kind of a rosé wine color or just about that color right there is, is 7.4. If we leave this go, it will go all the way up to about 8 and we'll get the sample back to red. So um, this points out that you could do this in your swimming pool uh, and raise the pH of the pool and it will not affect the alkalinity in your pool. And this is huge uh, because it allows you to take the pH of your pool and the alkalinity of your pool down to a target level of 90 for alkalinity and raise the pH back up by simply aerating the pool. And there are num numerous ways to aerate the pool. Uh, you can actually use a, a manifold, a little rectangle, not a little rectangle, but maybe a three foot rectangle 
uh, made out of PVC, uh, apply a blower to it or a compressor to it, and it will literally look like it's boiling the water and it will raise the pH. As you can see, we've already got a kind of a pink color, a rosé wine color, and this has only been a, a few minutes. So um, on a larger scale, you can do it in your pool. I have uh, done it successfully in a 15,000 gallon pool within an hour. Um, certainly, if you simply uh, aim the jets, the return lines in the pool back up so that they uh, break the surface of the water, uh, turn on uh, fountains, overflows, uh, even turn on the spa and let it overflow into the pool, uh, it does the same thing. Anything we can do to cause aeration. One of the best things that we have tried is using a submersible pump with a Maisie Venturi injector attached to it and shoot the water out of the pool into an arc of about 45 degree angle and let it come back into the pool and it raises the pH of the pool very quickly. Um, I've also tried a high pressure sprayer like an archer uh, and spray it right into the pool, raises the pH up quite a bit. So as you can see, we're turning pink uh, and in a few minutes, if we keep going, it's gonna get back to red. So uh, in a swimming pool, uh, the process uh, starts very quickly when the pH is below seven. The pH rises quickly. As it gets to seven and seven two, it takes longer and longer to cause an increase. As you get up to seven four and seven five, it slows down even farther. And as it gets up to seven eight or even eight oh, it almost stops. So um, you can overdo it and get, get your pH back up to, to eight if you do it long enough, but it takes so long that that uh, you'll be able to stop it when it gets to 7.5 or 7.6 with no problem. As you can see, we're almost red again, so uh, we have increased the pH back up to at least 7.8 at this point, maybe even getting near 8.0. So we've managed to raise the pH from almost a whole pH unit from say 6.8 to 7.8 in seven minutes. Okay, so, uh, what we have done is we've started out with some water that had a high pH and a high alkalinity, just like you would in your swimming pool. And uh, we've added some acid to get the pH and the alkalinity back down. We got the alkalinity to the right place, but the pH went too low. So we still had some alkalinity in the pool. We've aerated and now we've got the alkalinity where we want it. And in a short period of time, we now have the pH where we want it. So this means that we can actually get pH and alkalinity to the proper levels in a very short period of time in any swimming pool. And it shows that you can use something that's free uh, to raise the pH of the pool, air. All we need to do is aerate and cause turbulence in the pool and it raises the pH without raising alkalinity.